guys, it's me again, Mary, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, guys, is gonna be exciting. I think ito yata yung first video na gagawin ko this year. Na sobrang kinakabahan ako at the same time, I'm super excited to hold it. Before we totally proceed to the unboxing and peak review, I just wanna give a huge thank you to to find you rings findurings.com yung kanilang website guys. They sent me this beautiful rings and and I super duper love them guys. I've been wearing them the past few days na lumalampas ako and sabi ko, susuot ko to sa video ko. They have a lifetime warranty guys and yung rings na napili ko is made of titanium and nakasale sila guys for 65%. Just use my code Mary and mga discount kayo guys. Lagay ko yung mga details nila down in the description box. So for this video guys, this is one of the most 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 requested video of all time and this is the new Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Yung meron ako guys right now na i-unbox ko sa inyo is the S10 Plus but they also have the S10e and the S10. So yung so yung nasa atin guys is yung may pinakamalaking screen. So here we have it. Sobrang cool ng paper bag nila guys and I really like the whole concept of the large bold S10 font and naka parang uh, meron siyang reflective siya pero dun sa box silver siya and we have a um, free television from Samsung I think right this is from Samsung and anong inch so we have your the Samsung TV 32 inch and syempre papakita ko sa inyo pero hindi ko siya yung unbox sorry guys ha, kasi I consume yun na yung time natin and ang focus natin of course is the S10 Plus. <laughs> uh, oh my God, so sobrang laki hindi siya. So this is the Samsung Galaxy, Samsung Galaxy. <laughs> so this is the Samsung TV that we got. This is free lang and explain ko sa inyo. Wait, explain ko nang sa inyo. So this is for free sa Samsung ko siya pre order guys and kailan ba ako nag pre order? Wait, tingnan ko sa phone ko guys but Yep, this is the free one. Feb 22 to March 3 yung pre-order period nila. And I think February katapusan ako nag-down. 2,000 pesos yung down payment nila. So, sa halagang yun, makakapag-reserve ka na ng Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. So, ngayon ko lang din siya nakuha guys. March 8 and agad-agad i-unbox -agad, na natin siya syempre. So, nasa ganitong paper bag siya guys. And it's very unique. So inside, of course, we have here. Very guys, ako, but we have here the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus box itself. But before that, may mga you know extras pa inside. And I want, I want to show it to you guys. We have the S10 voucher. Get 10% off on your next purchase of a tablet. Soon magagamit ko to, and they also gave me a smart LTE. SIM card so smart back in naman the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and the color that I have is prism green and thus ganito yung kulay nung text niya in front it is also available in prism white and prism black also I forgot to tell you it cost me 55,900 sorry 55,990 pesos so we have the phone and the free TV. Medyo actually mura pa rin compared nung unang lumabas yung iPhone XS Max. One that I have here guys is the 128GB of internal storage with 8GB of RAM. Hindi tayo kumuha ng 1TB. <laughs> Hindi tayo kumuha guys ng 1TB kasi parang ang laki naman masyado nun para na akong bumili ng laptop, ba? It also says in the box guys that it has the free screen crack insurance worth 10,000 pesos for 30 days. So, let's see kung ano nga ba yung meron dito sa insurance na. So, we have here the phone itself. Agad-agad guys, phone. Ito siya. Oh my god. Alam niyo guys, nakita ko na ito sa mall. Pero yung nakita kong color is yung prism black. So, this is actually really nice. And bago to sa paningin ko yung gandong kulay. I've seen a lot of phones na may ganitong like um, colorway pero iba yung dating nito. So before we proceed to the phone, let's see what's inside the box. So we have here the Nano Fix-It Surface Protection. So 
this is how it looks like guys. I think this is the tie-up between Nano Fix It and Samsung. It's a screen tracking insurance and registration card value 10,000 pesos valid for 30 days. So for example, nabagsak mo yung phone within 30 days but who will do that? Sobrang dapat mag-ingat kayo o meron kayong S10. But anyways, the drop mo, nabasag yung, yung screen and then kailangan mong ipagawa. I think you will be able to reimburse the 10,000 pesos worth na babayad mo dun. So, yun yung tie-up between Nano Fix It and Samsung. So, we have here the adaptive fast charger. A USB-A to USB-C adapter. We have the USB-C cable. We have the AKG earphones. And yun sa pinakatakap guys ng box, meron din siyang something inside. So, let's see. So, dito nakalagay yung SIM ejector pin natin. We have the quick start guide and the warranty card. And we have a free clear case guys. Take note, it's not a jelly case so hindi tayo talaga tinipid na Samsung. This phone guys is really trending at the moment and I think one of the reason is because of the display. Sobrang daming bago sa kanya guys and although some of the features na meron siya na I think um, meron na din before last year, hindi naman na ganun ka bago like the triple camera the in-display fingerprint. Pero iba yung in-display fingerprint niya, guys, ha. Although may mga nakagawa nun, I think there's something really different about what Samsung did. So, later on, i-discuss natin yon. And as an Apple fan, girl, Samsung really did get my attention on this phone. Isa sa pinaka-inaabangan ko talaga, guys, on this phone is the double hole punch camera cutout on the side sa pinaka-taas, guys, on this part. And right now, you it, you won't see it. It's not yet visible. Hindi ko pa binubuksan yung phone. And also, the ultrasonic fingerprint reader. I'm very excited to test it out. And the triple camera. Actually, it's not really that new, pero excited pa rin ako to try it. And can you believe that we have five cameras on this phone? So, tatlong camera sa likod, dalawang camera sa harap. So, ina-open ko na yung phone, guys, and medyo awkward lang yung placement ng power button sa, sa gilid. This one, it's too high. Parang feeling ko, if I'm holding the phone, and then I wanna lock and lock it, masyadong mataas, right? Ayan, nag-open na siya guys and very visible na yung double hole punch niya sa harap. But let's not, you know, focus on that later na. So, I'm gonna skip setting up the phone guys. I will proceed automatically na doon sa in-display fingerprint niya. I wanna show it to you guys. So, set up ko lang muna. So, we have a lot of different options to protect our phone. We have face recognition, fingerprints, pattern, pin, password. But, we will focus on fingerprints. Wow. Okay guys, I think I have to touch it lightly. Kaya siguro hindi ko siya mabuksan ng maayos kanina. And right now guys, nung ina-unlock ko siya, okay naman. So siguro nasanay lang ako doon sa in-display fingerprint ng Vivo V11. And actually guys, for you to unlock this phone, yung sa in-display fingerprint niya, you don't have to click the lock button here para mag-light up and then i-click mo siya. You don't have to do that. Kailangan mo lang malaman kung saan siya talaga totally located. And you can unlock it right away. See? Ganun lang siya kadali. And before we completely go to the full detail on this phone, guys, let me give you a quick overall tour on this phone and yung kanyang specs, of course. On the back part of the phone, we have a triple camera. First, we have the 12 megapixel camera for telephoto. Second is we have a 12 megapixel camera for a wide photo. And lastly, we have a 16 megapixel camera for the ultra wide shot. The leftmost part of the phone, you can see the volume buttons and the Bixby buttons. On the right side, of course, you will see the power and lock button. On the lowermost part of the phone, you can see a 3.5mm Ojo port and a USB Type-C port and also the speaker grills and the microphone. I'm really glad that Samsung still has the headphone jack. I thought mawawala na siya sa mga flagship phones. So I guess Samsung is still better than Apple. 
And in front, you can see the 6.4 inches, 88.9% screen to body ratio with 1440 by 3040 pixels. And on the top right, you can see the famous double hole punch camera cutout. It has the 10 megapixel for the wide camera and 8 megapixel for the depth sensor. The build naman guys, it is made of Gorilla Glass 6 front and back and it has an aluminum frame. For the chipset, it has the Exynos 9820 Octa with Qualcomm Snapdragon 855. And lastly, for the battery, it has 4100 mAh battery capacity. Also, another thing that really captured my attention ng phone na to guys is the wireless power share. You can charge your phone. Any phone guys that has wireless charger, it's a charge mo siya on this phone. Ipapatong mo lang. All you have to do is turn on the wireless power share. So now my iPhone 10 is charging. Pakita ko sa inyo guys. So ayun guys, that is how the wireless power share works. Also guys, although Samsung is late to the party, what I'm talking about is the in-display fingerprint kasi alam naman nating lahat guys na nauso na siya before last year pa sa mga mid-range phones like the Vivo V11 at iba pang phones. And yes, nauso na nga siya but Samsung has something new to offer. Iba siya guys compared to those phones. So before guys, yung mga may in-display fingerprint, they use optical scanners that make use of the light and a tiny camera to analyze your fingerprint while the samsung galaxy s10 plus naman guys it uses ultrasonic fingerprint scanner which makes it more accurate and faster o ba guys and also guys pala kahit basa yung kamay mo for example pasmado ka or galing ka sa gym pinawisan yung kamay mo it will still work on the ultrasonic scanner ng S10 well on the other mid-range phones na nagkaroon na before it won't really work kasi nga hindi rin sila um, waterproof. Now, let's go to its front camera, guys. Very curious din ako sa camera niya kung bakit dalawa siya and what it actually do. So, let's go to camera. So I'm currently using the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus for the front video. It's actually, you know, I'm very impressed. Of course, this is a flagship phone. So this is very detailed and I really wanna use this phone as a vlogging camera. And guys, medyo um, lalilita ako kasi I keep on looking at the center and hindi sa taas when kasi yung camera na sa taas so yun lang yung problema sana and yun actually guys pasok na pasok siya sa five pillars of a great smartphone according to Brownlee so barang idol ko siya guys the build quality is superb the battery is excellent the performance is really good 
camera is also nice. And lastly, display is best in class. Grabe, guys. Also, I forgot to mention it is IP68 water resistance. It is Wi-Fi 6, so sobrang kompleto niya, guys. It still has the 3.5mm Ojo port. USB Type-C, it's so complete. Parang lahat ng hinahanap mo sa phone ngayon, sa era natin, eh, nandito na. T19 is just starting, but Samsung already ended. Also, rumors are saying that the tempered glass, guys, yung usual na nilalagay natin sa phone is not working. But the regular screen protector, yung maninipis lang, actually, guys, this still has the plastic. Ito yung plastic na kasama sa kanya nung in-unbox ko siya. Hindi ko siya tinanggal kasi nga wala pa akong temporary na ilalagay sa kanya since tempered glass doesn't work and I think wala pa akong mabibilan na alternative. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo guys na dito napapasok si Nano Fix It. So, I will let you know guys and I will try it on this phone and tignan natin kung gagana pa rin siya. I'll probably do a separate video on that. Hindi ko lang alam kung kailan but it for our video guys. I feel like and dami kong na-miss sa unboxing and quick review na to. Well, this is just a quick review naman. Hindi naman siya yung sobrang um, full review. Kaya, ayun, ang dami kong na-miss. Pero, I'm trying to make this video um, really short as much as possible. Dito ko sobrang dandal ko sa video na to. Well, in all aspect, guys, Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus is definitely worth it. I can't wait for the Note series na lumabas. I think Samsung has more to offer. So, that's it for our unboxing, guys. I hope nag-enjoy kayo and sobrang first impression red ng mga pinakita at sinabi ko sa inyo. If you do enjoyed it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget the do the and don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys and see you on my next video.